kind of sneaking in there with women's rights on women again this symbol here with the circle and then you got the two lines but it's very similar to uh, the Venus symbol you got the rainbow there the rainbow flag planet 5050 by 2030 step it up for gender equality step it up ask governments to make national commitments that will close the gender equality gap from laws and policies to national action plans and adequate investment step it up comes at a critical moment in time the 2030 agenda for sustainable development provides a comprehensive roadmap for the future of people and planet passing new laws or strengthening existing ones is one way to step it up investing in national action plans or policies for gender equality creating public education campaigns to promote gender equality and many more everyone has a role to play to make gender equality a lived reality by 2030 now is a critical moment in the struggle for gender equality as the world gives shape to a new did you this is one of the worst uploads I've ever seen but if you just watch the slides there's truth in it but the narration and you know it's, it's horrible I'll link it it'll be fun to watch right so the reason why I'm just putting this wee clip up is the use of now is the time now the Lord woke me up two years ago and said the time is now everything's back to front so you keep saying now is the time so the UN here is saying now is the time I've actually captured them on video saying the time is now so it's just confirmation for me every time I see it because it didn't exist until the Lord he gave me a heads up about what to look out for and you'll notice I keep talking about the moment it's a moment so I'm going to have to stop it in the right place and show you where they say moment. Adequate investment. Step it up comes at a critical moment in time. Do you see that? Oh good. Here we go, here we go. Now we can see it. It's not moving. Okay. Step it up. Step it up for gender equality. Step it up comes at a critical moment in time. <clears throat> I rest my case. <laughs> well, the Lord rests his case. There are many things that he's had me, he's told me, that I write in my book. <clears throat> Oh, I might as well just tell you this now because this is such a simple video. <clears throat> okay, so today when I was, I'll tell you two things that happened today. I sat outside Smith City because I had to go get some road tax. And the sun had been in my eyes so I had my visor down. Now, I've owned my car for a year and I've never noticed this. Someone has got a ballpoint pen and they have written a four digit number on the visor I didn't do it and I just knew that there's no accidents or mistakes and I looked up in strong that number so I'm gonna put it on the thumbnail what that number means is ink I N K ink in strongs so it mentions scribes writing in ink now a few YouTubes back we had an example where Linda lost all her words because she deleted them by accident now this is confirmation for me the Lord's confirming that because I was in a position where I had no power I had my computers and so forth, but I had no power. All I had were those red box. 
these school books because I, I grabbed my son's spare school books before I left to go up the mountain. So I've been writing in them. And I write in ink. They'll still be there. They'll still be there in a hundred years. We won't have a hundred years. But if anything happens, or we're out of power, or we're isolated somewhere, everything can be referred to because you write it in ink, and the Lord was confirming it with that number. So if you're relying on the systems of this world, and you're not hearing the leading of God, you're going to trip up. Start writing in ink. Start looking at all your words or anything that you would think. If you were to disappear, that you would like people to be able to read. And I don't like the word left behind, but... Or if you're sitting for a period of time with no power, then and you've written the words that the Lord has given you, then you can reread them and get fed. They will feed you. Now with the Bible changes, you can't rely on your Bible to feed you. You might think, oh, well, look, I've always, if I haven't got my Bible digital, I've always got my, my written, written print. For some reason, they're able to alter it. So the, your Bible has changed. If you don't recognize the Bible changes, there's a problem. They are so obvious. So you're left, picture yourself left with, <clears throat> without the Word of God, with only your memory to rely on. Obviously, if you're still around, you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. But if you have something written in ink, in a book, you can feed yourself. You know, sometimes I get so bored with what I say on YouTube. I play my own YouTube videos. Because I can hear the hear the, the scribed word of God back to me. And it feeds me. So that was a bit of a miracle. Plus, um, I've already told you about why. <clears throat> so everyone talks about this transhumanist agenda. So I honestly don't know too much about. I do believe that these nanobots are going to be able to alter us, our biological system. But how the Lord told me about this was the day that I went down to Smith City. Now, remember I started this story, I was outside Smith City today. And I saw on my visor that, that number. Well, before the lockdown here in New Zealand, <coughs> I went to Smith City and they had these returned hybrid floor, floor panels for flooring. They're, they're called hybrid. Now, I bought those and I bought them for $135, right? And when I went to Smith City today, oh, I, I bought those, I better finish this story. I bought those and when I come home that night, it was night, dark time, and I used my torch, there's a padlock to undo it. And this lighter was, it was quite dirty, but it was lying on the ground. So that's how the Lord showed me. He showed me the dragons, he showed me the beast, and then he also showed me the hybrid flooring. And that's why I know about this beast system creating, turning us into hybrids. Or that we are hybrids from the fall in Genesis 3 as well. Pretty wicked looking thing, isn't it? So anyway, today I'm outside Smith City again, and I've checked that number on Strong's, and I know that the Lord is confirming that I'm doing the right thing, writing my words in ink. Then when I go into the shop, I notice there's another return box. Now this box is not as ripped up, because the one that I took home was ripped up, and it didn't have a top on it, so I couldn't identify the name of the colour. But I knew it was, it was it's a grey colour. So I said to him, look, can you pull, pull open the top so I can just check it's the same colour so I can buy these because I need a few more. He said that I only had to pay $50 for this box. So this is perfect. I've got, now I've got well and truly enough for this doghouse, human house with the fireplace. 
Anyway, when we were checking the colour, he looked on the very top, the end of the box, the lid. It's in, they're in the back of my car now. And do you want to guess what the colour is? What the colour is called? Do you know how you get paint colours? Well, these hybrid flooring panels, the colour is Hunter. Or is it Huntress? I think it's Huntress. Oh, what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll put it on the thumbnail, the colour, and in a couple of photos, <clears throat> the photo of the number on my visor, and just the just the first bit in strong. There is one reference. I might try and put the reference into the thumbnail as well. So that's your testimony for today, and there's more. Which, but um, you know, every day with God. God keeps bringing up the word it's a moment and he said it's not a movement we have a political movement that's ramping up here in New Zealand on the surface looks fantastic looks great what benefits us it seems to it seems that it's going to benefit us it really does you guys will just Anyone else in the world will think, wow, look what New Zealand's got. Look at the benefits they've got. Look at the opportunity they've got on election year. But the Lord said it's not a movement. It's a moment. Who's talking about a moment? Who's talking about a moment? A moment in time. The UN is talking about a moment and Obama is talking about a moment. <clears throat> we'll see where God takes us.